So this is how you update your Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. Um, there aren't any tutorials about how to do this on the internet on Mac OS that I've seen. So this is basically a brief overview on how you do it because it differs to the process used on Windows. So first thing we do is we search Casio FX CG50 software. Um, and online you can see there's a website that says handheld update. We want to click on that, scroll down and we can see on the Casio website there is a link for the graphing, mod uh, graphing models. Okay. Click that, scroll down, accept the license agreement if you do indeed accept the license agreement. And here we have a new version, the version 3.2.0 OS update. We're going to go here, download it for Mac OS. And in a second, it will download this update in a zip file. And the first thing we want to do is extract this zip file to get the package installer out of it. Okay, so once this is downloaded, we will go to the downloads folder and it will extract automatically and um, and I'm just going to move this onto my desktop what we just got out of the zip file okay so we're going to double click on the package file that came out of the zip and it's going to open a standard Mac OS installer so we'll go click continue accept the software license agreement if we do indeed accept the license agreement um, and enter the administrator password to install the software um, you do need to restart the computer after the installation so click through there now, whilst this is going on, you might get a pop-up asking for another password so that you can allow Casio to uh, install system packages, is I think the term that they use. Now here, I didn't do that. It appeared on another screen. I missed it. Um, it's all right if you don't do it. You can do it later, which I'll cover in the next part of the video. So let this run, um, and when it's done, I'll get back to you. Okay, so it says the installation was completed successfully and we're going to click restart to install the software. So let's do that. Now, during the installation process, a window came up and um, it wanted me to uh, allow the system software to be loaded um, for this process to work, okay? Um, and after the restart, um, I tried out the process um, to install the software and it didn't work. So what I did, uh, what you need to do if that occurs for you and you didn't enter your password when it first prompted you to you need to go to system preferences down to security and privacy and as you can see here it says some system software was blocked from loading let's click allow okay so Casio computer software was blocked from loading we're going to click OK brilliant so now that's allowed we can then go and close security and privacy Okay, so now we want to go to our launch pad and scroll all the way to the end to find the new application FX CG50 series OS update that has been installed. Let's click on this and we get a nice warning in the middle of the screen saying if the calculator is connected, disconnect it. Okay, so we've done that um, and I'm going to click shift AC on to turn off the calculator, which it already is. Step one, connect the calculator. So we grab a cable, micro USB, and we plug that in. So once that is in, um, if select connection mode is displayed, press exit, press menu, enter system mode. So let's go across and down to system. And next, we want to enter system update. So we go along to the next page and then F5 to enter OS update. Okay. Now back on the computer, we just need to press OK. Warning, are you sure? Yeah, we're sure. And another pop-up saying sending data will come up. We will wait for this to complete. Again, it's important that you do allow the software to be installed um, through system preferences, um, otherwise this will not work. Um, that wasn't too clear at first, however, um, with a bit of trial and error, I found out how to do it. So. Okay, so now it says updating OS on the calculator screen and do not connect USB. Make sure your battery on the calculator is 
pretty good before you start this process. Um, mine says three bars, however it's been in there for a couple months now, so make sure you've got at least two or three bars. Now we're deleting and updating. Okay, so there you go, update is complete. Would you like to update another calculator? We're gonna click no. So this is all correct. We're using alkaline batteries. They're the ones that came with them. Um, and we'll execute and we should. And it hasn't been reset, so it's still there. Um, Fluffy Bird's still there. And we've actually got Python on here now. So that's something quite cool. That's a new feature in the update. There you go, there's the update on our Casio calculator. We can now unplug the cable um, and that's all basically. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys later.